Herb Stamping Treat. Today we're going to be making a Valentine's Day card and it's going to be a shaker card that we're going to create using the Be Mine Stitch Framelit die. So we're going to use this one here and in case you want to see what other dies come in the pack you get these ones and you get these ones as well. So you get different size layering hearts and then you get these ones on the back. But we're just going to be using this one today. And then I'm also going to be using this punch from the jar of flowers. But today we're going to have a jar of hearts. In fact, we're going to have three jars of hearts. So for my card, I've got a red A6 card base. And I've got two pieces of, that's real red. And I've got two pieces of smoky slate cardstock that measure three and a half inches by five and seven eighths inches. So they're the same width. Of the card and then they're three and a half inches that's it. and on just one of the pieces I'm going to punch three jars so I'm going to punch one in the middle and then I'm going to punch one close to this edge and the other close to the other edge Then I've used this die to cut out these. So I've got two in Cherry Cobbler, two in Real Red and two in Poppy Parade. But I'm not actually going to use these today. I can use those for a different project. I'm actually going to use the hearts that come from inside all the holes. So you can see that in these jars, these are the shaker domes that go with this punch and I've got all the poppy parade hearts there, all the cherry cobbler hearts here and all of the real red hearts there. So I'm going to tip up the hearts out into piles for a second. And then I'm just going to, these shaker domes have um, double side sticky so they've got one on the front and one on the back. So I'm just going to peel off the front ones and I'm just going to pop them through here. So that then has a nice seal onto my cardstock. And because they're designed to fit the punch, then they just fit really nicely in there. And I'm going to pop these back into the pots and I'm putting the um, the lightest one over here because I want that on the left hand side and once we turn it over that'll be on the left hand side so you just got to remember that you're kind of working in reverse because this is the back and then I'm just going to take the backing off of these I'm going to add a bit of glue and then I'm going to just pop the other piece of smoky slate cardstock just on the back. And push all that down. And so then I've got the Forever and Always stamp out of this Itty Bitty Greeting stamp set. This is actually a two part stamp set, so this is half of the set. And I'm not going to lie, I think I definitely should have done this before I put the domes in. It would have been a lot easier then. So if you're watching this back, I would do the stamping before you put the domes in. I'm just going to stamp forever and always just up here. And I might actually do that above each of the above each of the domes, I think. 
you've probably noticed that when I did this, I made a bit of a mistake when I did this forever and always. And I got a bit of extra stamping on there, a bit of extra ink on there. So I've come up with a little fix for it because I feel like there's always or almost always a way to fix things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same forever and always stamp on this little bit of real red um, cardstock. And I've got my Versamark ink. And I'm just going to stamp forever and always along this red cardstock. And then I'm going to pour over some white embossing powder. Then I had to take that away to heat set it um, because I don't have a spare plug by, by this station at the moment. Um, but if you don't know how to heat set embossing, then I'll add in the description below a beginner's guide to heat embossing. So then I'm just going to glue that along there and that will hide my mistakes from earlier. And then I'm just going to glue this piece onto my card front. And then we're done. There's my cute little jar of hearts Valentine's Day card. So I really hope you enjoyed our project today. If you did, I'd appreciate you clicking like below. You can also click subscribe to see future projects and if you click the bell button and select all then YouTube will send you notifications when I've got new projects available. All the items that we've used to create today's card will be linked in the description below and there'll also be a host code there so if you pop the host code into your basket before you check out then I'll send you a free gift after the end of the month. Thank you so much for joining me today, I really hope to see you again soon.